dear students in this section we are going to discuss refraction through a transparent slab let us take a slab of thickness t refractive index of material mu and slab is placed in a medium having the refractive index mu m let us take a case where the refractive index of the slab is greater than the refractive index of the medium now let us place an object at a distance d from the left surface of the slab here you can observe here this object is placed in a medium mu m at a distance d from the left surface suppose an observer which is uh, located at the right side of the slab here and this observer is observing this object through this slab and this observer is interested to find the final position of the image form after refraction through the slab okay so let us consider the refraction of the light through this slab you know the light ray starts from the object and reaches to the observer and while this process we know these rays will cross this surface that is the left surface of the slab finally right surface of the slab that means we need to consider the two refraction right this is the ray which is traveling along the normal you know any ray is traveling along the normal remain undeviated there will be no deviation in the path of the ray for making the image we need two rays so we need to draw one more ray so let us incident the ray at certain angle with respect to this ray here right the ray will incident at this position now we can observe this ray is traveling in the rarer medium because the refractive index of the medium is less than the refractive index of the slab for making the ray diagram in case of the refraction we need to draw the normal so let us draw a normal here and here this ray is traveling in rarer medium moving toward the denser medium that means it will bend toward the normal like this and if we want to draw the image formed by this surface we need to extend this ray in the backward direction so this will meet the first ray at position i1 this is the position of the image formed by the first surface let us take the distance from the first surface that is left surface this distance is d1 okay now the image formed by first surface will act as a object for the second surface that is the right surface so now ray traveling in the denser medium and moving toward the rarer medium so let us consider at this position and draw the normal again now ray is traveling in the denser medium moving toward the rarer medium it will move away from the normal that is angle of the uh, refraction will be greater than the angle of incident so ray will bend away from the normal like this again if you want to draw the image formed by this surface we need to extend the uh, direction of the ray traveling in the backward direction like this so this will be the image formed by the second surface and finally ray reaches toward the observer so we can say this is the final position of the image that is the final image we can observe the final image is shifted toward the ray traveling that is toward the observer so we can say this is the shifting let us assign the distance of this image that the final image from this surface let this distance is d cap d2 right and this is the shifting or shift let us calculate this shifting value because this shifting value is very important for analyzing the numerical problems of the slab so let us place this diagram to the next page again here first consider at this position the refraction through the left surface we can consider the real depth and apparent depth formula we know this is the first medium and this is the second medium we consider the first medium from where ray start 
and consider second medium where ray moves. So this is the first medium. Refractive index of the first medium is mu m and refractive index of the second medium is mu. The initial depth that is the distance of the object here from this surface is d. This is d. So this is the real depth and apparent depth is here d1. So we can write here d divided by mu m that should be equal to d1 divided by mu. We can write like this. That means d1 should be equal to mu divided by mu m multiplied by d. That is the distance of the image formed by the left surface that is d1. Right? Now move to the second surface here. Again we can observe the ray is traveling, start traveling from this surface on this medium. So first medium should be equal to mu at this position reflection and second medium is mu m. And the initial distance or you can say the distance of the object from this surface is uh, this is t and this is d1. That means the object distance from this surface is d1 plus t and medium is mu and the final image you can observe here this is d2 and this is t so the distance of the final image from this surface is t plus d2 so here we can write d2 plus t divided by mu m that will equal to d1 plus t divided by mu that means d2 plus t is equal to mu m divided by mu multiplied by d1 plus t right so here we got the value of d1 that is the position of the image formed by the first surface this is d1 and position of the image formed by the second surface from this surface that is d2 plus t now we are in position to find this value of the shifting from this diagram it is clear this shifting value should be equal to d minus d2 so let us assign this shifting as a small s and is this is small s should be equal to d minus d2. And we can calculate the value of d2 from this relation. This d2 should be equal to mu m divided by mu multiplied by d1 plus t minus t. So let us substitute the value of d2 here. And here we can observe this is also unknown d1 and we have calculated this value d1 equal to mu divided by mu m multiplied by d. So let us substitute the value of d1 also here. Now we can solve the, here this equation and if we multiply mu m divided by mu in this bracket term, this will get cancelled. We will have the term d only and here it is t multiplied by mu m divided by mu. And if multiply with the negative sign, this d and d will get cancelled and here minus minus will become positive. So this is equal to t minus t multiplied by mu m divided by mu and if we take t common that is t multiplication mu m divided by mu. We can rearrange this equation. We can write this as a t multiplication 1 minus 1 divided by mu divided by mu. We know this term that is mu divided by mu m is nothing but it is the relative refractive index of the slab material with respect to external medium this is the shifting value okay so here we can say the slab will appear to shift the object position if you are observing from this position right size of the slab that means this slab will shift the object position by the value small s right that is if we are observing in the normal incident case normal incident case is not uh, exactly at the normal position it is somewhere uh, near to the normal so this shifting is in the direction of the ray traveling and this is equal to you know we have calculated this value as s equal to t multiplication 1 minus 1 upon mu r and we know this value also this is a refractive index of the slab divided by refractive index of the medium right so from this expression, we can consider two cases further. 
first case is uh, let us consider the refractive index of the slab material is greater than the refractive index of the medium if this happens if this value is greater than this value that means this mu r is greater than 1 if this value is greater than 1 that means this expression will be less than 1 if this is less than 1 that means this s should be positive and this means if shift is positive that is in the direction of the retraveling positive six, uh, shift means in the direction of the retraveling if we consider the case second case where the refractive index of the medium is greater than the refractive index of the slab that is mu slab is less than mu medium and it happens if it happens this value should be less than one if this value is less than one this value is greater than one it means if this value is greater than one this shifting should be negative and negative shifting means in the direction opposite to the retraveling right now we can say if slab is having the refractive index which is less than the refractive index of the medium shifting will be negative that is in the direction opposite to the retraveling or if slab having the refractive index greater than the refractive index of the medium the shifting will be positive or in the direction of the ray traveling right and one more thing to discuss here you can observe here this shifting expression is independent of the position of the object with respect to slab there is no term uh, appearing like d and uh, any d1 and d2 term that means this shifting is independent of the distance of the object from the slab and here we have calculated the shifting value in case of the real object but this expression is equally useful for the virtual object so let us draw the ray diagram corresponding to virtual object so let us place this slab again consider mu is greater than mu m we can we know the real object means ray divers from a point in case of the virtual object ray converts to a point so ray are converging to a point and this is the position of the object or oh sorry observer and ray are converging to a point in absence of the slab ray converts to this position that means this is the position of the virtual object with respect to slab and we have discussed the refractive index of the material of the slab is greater than the refractive index of the medium that means the shift should be positive and if shift is positive that should be in the direction of the ray traveling that means in the rightward direction here that means the position of the image should be here in the direction of the ray traveling it should shift in the rightward direction so this is the shifting value and we know this shifting value is equal to t multiplication 1 minus 1 upon mu r and this mu r is nothing but it is the refractive index of the slab material divided by refractive index of the medium right and if the refractive index of the medium is greater than the refractive index of the slab this shifting would have be, been negative that means the final position the image should not be here it should be here in case mu is greater than mu m is greater than mu okay but here in this case we have considered this mu is greater than mu m so this shifting is positive so up to this point we learn how to calculate the value of shifting in case of the real object and in case of the virtual object and we also learn when this shifting is positive and when it is negative that means we have learned the theoretical part of this section that is the refraction through slab now let us do the application of this concept through few illustrations or few real life situation so let us take one conceptual discussion in this problem it is given a car is moving with the velocity 20 meter per second what will be the change in the velocity car observed if a glass lab this glass lab is introduced between the car and observer that means in absence of this glass slab this observer is observing the velocity of this car as 20 meter per second what will be the change in the velocity of the car 
if this glass slab is introduced between the observer and car right and we know what happens if a glass slab is introduced between the object and observer we know it produces shifting in the direction of the ray traveling and this shifting is independent of the position of the object with respect to slab that means this presence of the slab will nothing to do with the velocity that means because there is no change in the shifting when car moves uh, in the rightward direction that means the presence of the glass slab make no difference with the velocity of the image okay now let us discuss one more situation here the object o is placed in front of a plane mirror this is a plane mirror and this is a glass slab reflective index mu you can follow the diagram thickness of the slab is t and this object is moving with velocity u right the object is made to move with the velocity u perpendicular to the mirror surface like this the question is find the speed of the image form after number 1 refraction from slab followed by the reflection from the mirror that means observer location should be here that means if observer is located here what will be the speed of the image and second part of the question it is given refraction from the slab follow, followed by the reflection from the mirror and followed by the refraction from the slab again that means observer position is here now let us take first case in the first case the refraction from the slab followed by the reflection from the mirror right let us make the diagram observer position is here right we you know object is moving in the rightward direction with velocity u if this slab is not present the image of the this object o will move in the direction opposite to the motion of the object with the same velocity right and we you know the ray will travel from the right to left direction and cross the slab then incident to the mirror and form the image we you know while crossing the slab the position of the object will shift and in this shifting formula we have nothing to do with the distance of the object with respect to slab that means here also the presence of the glass slab make no difference with the velocity of the image that means this observer will observe the velocity of the image same as you right if this slab is not present the velocity of the image is u in the backward direction even presence of the slab will make no difference with the velocity so let us move to the next situation in next situation it is given reflex refraction through the slab followed by the reflection through the mirror and followed by the refraction through the slab again that means position of the observer is here right now what will happen the ray will travel start traveling from the object cross the slab incident with the mirror form the virtual image in the backward direction like this again ray will travel in the opposite direction that is left to right direction and finally reach to the observer that means the slab will produce shifting twice one when rays traveling from right to left and second when rays are traveling from left to right and here also this shifting is independent of the distance of the object with respect to slab position that means here also the presence of the glass slab makes no difference with the velocity of the image okay so now we can say the glass slab causes a shift but the shift does not depend on the distance between the slab and object it means even if the distance of the object changes from slab the shift cause will remain same that means finally we can say the presence of the glass slab make no difference to the velocity of the image now let us move to the next illustration in this illustration it is given 
a glass slab is placed between the object O and observer E. This object O and observer is E. With the refracting surface AB, this is AB refracting surface and this is CD refracting surface that is perpendicular to the line O and E. E is the position of the eye. The refractive index of the glass slab changes with the distance y from the face AB. That means the refractive index of the glass slab is not constant. It is changing with the distance y. y is measured from the right surface of the slab. And the variation is related by the equation mu equal to mu naught 1 plus y. y is the distance measured from the right face. Thickness of the slab is t. This thickness is t. And the question is find how much closer compared to the original distance the object appear to observer. Consider near normal incident only. That is the paraxial condition here we need to consider. Okay. So in the previous section we learned the shifting case in case the refracting index of the slab was constant and it was placed in a medium where the refracting index on the medium is less than the refractive index of the slab. But here in case this refractive index is not constant, it is varying with the distance. Right? So let us make the diagram again here. Because there is variation in case of the refractive index of the material of the slab. So here we can consider we have a number of the slabs parallel to the parallel faces that is AB and CD. So let us consider a thin slab of thickness dy at a distance y from the right surface. So let us consider a, a small slab, a small thickness slab of thickness dy. Here this is dy thickness. Right? So let us consider the shifting case through this slab that is the elementary slab. Here we can consider the refractive index of the material constant in this thickness dy. And in case of the constant refractive index, we have the formula for the shifting. We know the formula of the shifting equal to S equal to T multiplication 1 minus 1 upon mu. So here the this slab is having the refractive index mu which is constant. So we can write this shifting as ds because we have taken this thickness as dy. So this ds equal to dy in place of t and in bracket term we can write 1 minus 1 upon mu. And here we know this mu is not constant and variation the mu is given by this equation that is mu naught 1 plus y. Right. So let us substitute the value of mu in this equation like this. Right. And if you want to find the total shift, we should add the shift produced by each and every elementary slabs, right? Like uh, you can observe here, this is having the thickness dy. We can consider a number of the similar type of the slab parallel to the face. So here we should add the shift produced by each and every slab. That means we need to do the integration. So for calculating the total shift s should be equal to integration of ds right so this is the integration part we can write like this the limit of the integration from 0 to t, t is the thickness of the slab so here the integration limit is 0 to t so this is the integration part integration of dy should be y and here the integration is equal to log natural log 1 plus y so let us substitute the limit 0 to t like this. After placing the limit value, this is t. So this is natural log 1 plus t minus natural log 1 plus 0. So this is expression that is equal to t minus natural log 1 plus t divided by mu naught. This is the total shifting produced by all surface, right? Now let us move to the next illustration. In this illustration it is given a 20 cm thick glass slab. This glass slab is having thickness 20 cm. Refractive index 3 by 2. It is kept in front of the plane mirror. 
and this plane mirror and glass slab and this object all are placed in medium that is having refractive index 1 say air right the question is find the position of the image relative to the mirror as seen by the observer observer is located here left side of the object and system and uh, point object is kept at a distance 40 centimeter from the plane mirror right we need to find the final position of the image formed by the system now let us analyze the situation one by one the ray start traveling from the object and incident first with the glass slab right and after passing through the glass slab there will be the shifting and we know the shifting is in the direction of the ray traveling that means the position of the image formed by the glass slab should be right side of all right so this will be the position of the image after passing through the glass slab so let us write this is s that is the shifting right and this object o will not be at 40 centimeter from the plane mirror now we can say the image formed by the glass slab will act as a object for the plane mirror so the distance of the object from the plane mirror should be equal to that is 40 minus s so let us calculate the value of the shifting that is s and we know shifting is equal to thickness of the glass slab multiplied by 1 minus 1 divided by mu r mu r the relative refractive index of the slab with respect to medium and here it is mu and this thickness is 20 centimeter let us call this is d so this s that is equal to o i1 equal to d multiplication 1 minus 1 upon mu right and we know d equal to 20 centimeter and mu equal to 3 by 2 so this is 20 multiplication 1 minus 3 by 1 minus 1 upon 3 by 2 so this is 20 multiplication 1 minus 2 by 3 so this is equal to 20 multiplication 1 by 3 that is 20 by 3 centimeter so this is the shifting so let us calculate the position of the object with respect to plane mirror right as we discuss this i1 will act as a object for the plane mirror so the position of the object with respect to the plane mirror should be equal to 40 minus s and s equal to we have calculated 20 divided by 3 so this is 40 minus 20 divided by 3 and this is equal to 100 divided by 3 centimeter so for this plane mirror this object that is the image formed by the glass slab will locate it at the distance 100 divided by 3 centimeter and we know the image formation from the plane mirror the object distance and image distance both are equal that means the image formed by the plane mirror should be behind the plane mirror at the same distance that is 100 divided by 3 centimeter here so this distance is 100 divided by 3 and let us call the position of this image is i2 right so this is at a distance 100 divided by 3 okay now what will happen this image i2 again act as a object for the glass slab because ray will now start moving from right to left direction and it will cross the slab and if cross the slab that means again produce the shifting and we know the shifting is in the direction of the ray traveling that means the shifting of the i2 will be now in the left direction right so let us make the situation for the image formed by the glass slab this should be somewhere here this should be equal to s as we have calculated this is equal to 20 divided by 3 now we are asked to find the distance of the final image this is this is the position of the final image because now ray will not interact with the system it will move in the left direction that means this is the position of the final image that means this distance should be equal to 
this is 100 divided by 3 and this is 20 divided by 3 that means the distance let us call this 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 position as m this position is m so this m i that is the distance of the final image from the mirror that should be equal to m i 2 minus i i 2 i i 2 equal to 20 divided by 3 and m i 2 equal to 100 divided by 3 so this is equal to 100 divided by 3 minus 20 divided by 3 that is 80 divided by 3 centimeter that means for this observer the image that is the final image will be at a distance 80 divided by 3 with respect to this plane mirror okay we can solve this problem by other method also because we know light is having the reversibility property here we have taken the traveling direction the light from left to right direction and we have considered this mirror is observing the object now let us consider this observer is observing the mirror if this observer is observing the mirror that means this mirror will act as object and ray will start traveling from right to left direction so let us consider the direction of the traveling the, the ray from right to left right if rays are traveling from right to left that means now shifting will be in the rightward direction that means for this observer mirror will not be at a distance 40 centimeter it will shift toward the left direction by amount s and s equal to we know we have calculated this distance equal to 20 divided by 3 centimeter that is s equal to d 1 minus 1 upon mu and d equal to 20 and mu equal to 3 by 2 so this we have calculated that is equal to 20 divided by 3 centimeter now for this observer this mirror will be at this position we can say this is the position of the virtual mirror from this virtual mirror the position of the object should be here it is not 40 centimeter it is equal to 40 minus 20 divided by 3 so this distance is 40 minus 20 divided by 3 that is equal to 100 divided by 3 centimeter and we know in case of the image formation from the plane mirror the distance of the object from the mirror is equal to the distance of the image from the plane mirror so the distance of the image formed by this mirror should be at distance 100 divided by 3 centimeter in the backward direction right here this is 100 divided by 3 from this position to this position but we know this distance is 20 divided by 3 that means the distance of the final image from the real mirror that should be equal to 100 divided by 3 minus 20 divided by 3 that is 80 divided by 3 centimeter right so this is the second method that is the shifting of the mirror here we travel the ray in the right uh, leftward direction uh, if we travel the ray in the leftward direction that will interact the slab once only that means we need to consider the shifting only once while when we considered the ray traveling direction from left to right we have considered shifting twice so this method is uh, we can say uh, take lesser steps in comparison to the previous method okay now let us take one more illustration in this illustration it is given a point object o is placed in front of a concave mirror of focal length 10 centimeter you can observe here this point object is placed in front of this mirror that is the concave mirror of focal length 10 centimeter at resistance 32 centimeter right a glass slab of refractive index 3 by 2 of thickness 6 centimeter is inserted between the object and mirror and we have uh, considered the whole system is placed in air that is the refractive index 1 and this x is the distance of the slab with mirror that is the concave mirror we need to find the position of the final image when this x 
that's the distance of the glass slab with respect to mirror is 5 centimeter and 20 centimeter that means we need to find the final position in two situation when x equal to 5 and 20 centimeter okay so let us make the diagram to the next page here let us consider the direction of the ray from left to right if ray travel from left to right it will cross the slab before incident with the mirror and we know it will produce the shift that means for this mirror this object is not going to be at a distance 32 centimeter it should be at a distance 32 minus shift because shifting is in the direction of the ray traveling so let us calculate the value of the shifting and this shifting formula we know that is s equal to t multiplication 1 minus 1 upon mu and this t equal to 6 centimeter and mu is equal to relative refractive index and we know this slab is placed in air that means the relative refractive index is nothing but it is the refractive index of the material of the slab that is equal to 3 by 2 because the relative refractive index will be equal to 3 by 2 divided by 1 so this is equal to 6 multiplication 1 minus 1 divided by 3 by 2 so this is 6 multiplication 1 minus 2 by 3 so this is equal to 2 centimeter that means for the mirror for this mirror the object which is placed at a 32 centimeter it will not be at 32 centimeter it should be equal to 32 minus s that equal to 32 minus 2 that is 30 centimeter from it so here we got the value of the object distance from the mirror because the image formed by the slab will act as a object for the mirror and that is equal to 30 centimeter with respect to mirror right now we have the mirror formula that is 1 upon v plus 1 upon u equal to 1 upon f now rays are traveling from left to right direction that means the right direction measured from the mirror should be taken with the positive sign but u is on the left side that means for measuring the u we need to move in the left direction that means u should be equal to minus 30 and focal length should be somewhere here so focal length is also negative that is equal to minus 10 so let us substitute the value of u and f and if we calculate this value v equal to minus 15 centimeter okay this is the position of the image form after reflection through this concave mirror we can make approximate ray diagram for this situation this is 30 centimeter and after reflection the image should be at a distance 15 centimeter from the mirror but we know when rays are turning back they will again incident the slab and we need to consider the two cases when slab is at a distance 5 centimeter from the mirror and second case when slab is 20 centimeter from the mirror so let us consider the first case when x equal to 5 centimeter right as we discussed light fall from the slab on the return journey that means after reflection from the mirror it will again incident on the slab that means after passing the slab there will be again shift and this shift should be in the direction of the ray traveling right in absence of the slab you know this distance that is the distance of the image is 15 centimeter from the mirror but in the return journey we can observe here these rays will pass through the slab and shift in the right direction by the same amount as we calculated in the previous case that is equal to 2 centimeter right so the image will not be at this position image will shift in the leftward direction by the distance s and s is equal to 2 centimeter that means the final image position should be equal to 17 centimeter from the mirror right and we know the rays are converging to a point after the process or you can say after interacting with the system that means the image nature should be real now we can say the final image is formed at a distance 15 plus 2 that is 17 centimeter from the mirror 
the nature of the image is real now let us consider the second case when x equal to 20 centimeter right you know again the ray will again cross the slab slab may be at 5 centimeter or 20 centimeter uh, the ray after all will close the slab in any distance right so let us make the slab position here that is 20 centimeter and we know the ray will converge at a distance 15 centimeter you know this distance is 15 centimeter now rays are incident on this slab like this right and we know when the ray will pass through the slab shifting will occur and shifting should be in the direction of the ray traveling that is in the left direction that means the if observer is here for the final image the object so you can say image position should not be at this position it should shift in the left for a direction by the distance s and s we know this is equal to 2 centimeter so s should be in the left direction here this should be shifting and this should be the final position of the image you can observe after interacting with the system rays are diverging and diverging rays will meet at this position in the backward direction if they produce that means the image nature is here, here is virtual so here we can say the final distance is again 15 plus 2 that is the 17 centimeter from the mirror but the nature of the image is virtual in this case okay